Hey guys, this is Jessica Lynn of Jessica Lynn Original. All of our rubber stamps are made of high quality photopolymer, and today we're going to make this adorable Sheltie card. I found this really adorable layout on Pinterest, and it was done by Carol Feige, F E I G E and I absolutely love it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my brown cardstock and a cat scrappiness die, and I'm gonna cut out one part in a circle, and it's not gonna be a full circle, because I want it to kind of fall off the edge. I'm gonna run it through my cuttle bug, and then I will go ahead and add the background paper. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the background paper, and I found it from Nine or Cloud Nine Designs, and it's dog bones with like some glitter. It just adds a little bit extra to the background behind my image, so I'm really excited to use this. So what I'm going to do is I just cut out a piece that's larger than the whole, and I'm going to go ahead and glue it right to the front of my card. Now the way that I did this is I wanted to be able to line up and decide where I wanted this so I went ahead and decided where I wanted the circle. I'm going to flip it over and then just use this as a template to cut this out because I want to make sure that when I glue it on it's going to fit. But I don't want to glue it on yet because the cardstock that I chose in the background has all that glitter so if I tried to stamp on it it could have weird images or weird raised parts. So I'm going to actually do all my stamping on this craft paper now. And then once I'm done, I'll go ahead and apply it to the glitter cardstock. And I'm going to be using a Sheltie stamp from JessicaLynnOriginal.com. We do have it available up on our website, so you can see I'm going to be stamping. Originally, I thought maybe I'd do the mom and puppies, but I decided I wanted to do the windblown Sheltie. And so what I'm going to do is get out my ink, my clear block, and I have a pile of white scrap paper that I use, because you never know when you need the right size, just random paper. So I'm going to go ahead and use this small piece of cardstock that I had. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and stamp my Sheltie.
And then I'm going to go ahead and get my Copic markers out and I'm going to color him in. And I am going to add a Blaze to the front. Growing up, I did have a Sheltie and his name was Blaze and he had that same white Blaze right up his face. So I thought maybe I'd make a little card featuring him. Now that the pup is all colored, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to just fussy cut him out. You could have used, if you have a brother, scan and cut or anything like that. That would have been completely acceptable. But I thought, you know what, I'm just going to fussy cut him out this time.
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to decorate the front. And again, I was inspired. Uh, the card that she made, it used Tim Holtz dog and then she put like googly eyes. But I really like that she had like the words woof, like woof all the way around. So I'm just going to write the word woof and some three little dots. And I don't have a stamp for this, so I'm just free freehanding it. Um, the nice part is I have the curve of the circle that I already cut out so that hopefully that'll line up well. And I am using my favorite pen, which is a Pilot G2, the 10. I really love it. I don't work for them, but I would invest so much into their pens because all the art that I draw, I use that because I love to draw with these pens. So again, you can see I'm just kind of going all the way around with a woof and then three little dots. And then what I'm going to do is I have a paw print stamp and we're going to stamp it all over this brown cardstock like the puppy had kind of walked its way around the card itself. Now I decided to let a couple of them fall off the edge just make sure you put paper behind it because otherwise it'll bleed all over the place but I really like the way these little paw prints look and I tried to tilt them you know so it's like one was going one way going the other way but I really like it I think it looks pretty good. Once I've got it all set, I'm going to go ahead and glue it over the glittery dog bone cardstock. Make sure you put a lot of glitter because obviously, or I'm sorry, a lot of glue because there's a lot of glitter on the other cardstock, so I want to make sure it's going to stick really well. Once I do that, I'm just going to line it on up and fit it into the space. And if I do everything correctly, we should have a beautiful set of glittery bones that pop through the circle. Then what I'm going to do is use some foam risers and put the Sheltie kind of in the middle of the circle. Originally I was going to have him just sort of sit underneath it, but then I decided to let his tail sort of swoop out and over. I really, really love the way this design turned out, and I think that having the tail just swoop over the top sort of just adds that finishing touch. I am absolutely so happy with how this card turned out. If you like this set of stamps or any of our dog stamps or even Brentwood Owl, they are available on our website, which is jessicalynnoriginal.com. Again, my name is Jessica. I'm the owner and artist. And if you like what we're doing here on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. Click on the little Brentwood Owl and subscribe. I'd also love to hear from you. Comment below. Thank you again and have a great day.